Let yeah. me let me take this call. It's very it's very important. Uh, hi, who's this? Yeah, this is Bobo. <laughs> oh. oh, we're very busy today, Bobo. Why are you calling? We got uh, yeah. Jay Okerson uh, and David Tell and Bill Byrne here today. No, I was going to make this quick about a creepy experience I had on my way to seeing Reverend Bob Levy last Sunday. Yeah. Well, go ahead. <laughs> Well, what happened was on the way. This is supposed to play out this way. That place that I called. Okay. That, Just when so I you called know. the direction to the venue, they gave me really bad directions. Uh huh. They gave me bad. They gave me bad directions. Right. It was the, They told me Peapack, New Jersey, was the closest station, train station. But all this time, all that time, it could it was Short Hills. <laughs> and I got all the way to some town called Peacock, whatever that. This is like the beginning of an Oscar-winning movie. <laughs> and I get a, if you could just all, play this and guy. And it's, yeah. this is the saddest <laughs> fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> if, you, if you could just play this guy. And congratulations on the uh, 76ers thing, by the way, Bobo. Congratulations. Two-day contract with the Philadelphia 76ers. What? That's yeah, a story in the news. Oh, okay. High school student with Down syndrome. Well, it's great that it's oh, great. Down syndrome was oh. uh, signed by the Sixers. For oh, two yeah, years. it's great no that Bobo's really? calling in because uh, one of my favorite clips on this show is Patrice laughing during the up and down game. That yeah. was uh, amazing. So I was is, standing uh, right here when that happened. Yeah, in the same that's spot. right. Jay was here. <laughs> yeah, that was. Hey, Jay Okerson was here for that. I wanted to use that expression, but I don't know how to say it. That French. This is very uh, ap apropos. Uh, apropos. Apropos. Yeah. apropos. I try to just mumble my yeah. way through it. No, no, apropos. never doubt yourself. This is very right. apropos. Apropos. <laughs> apropos. apropos. So, Bobo, do you have a point today? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, there was more to the story. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. Well, Keep going, then. This let's, is just the setup. I actually got stranded yeah. in that state in that station waiting for a cab because I was struggling to find every cab company I called would not go into that area. You know, I got stranded one time at the drive-in. I was branded a fool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing commitment. You saw me that day, I would I looked like Jack Nicholson at the end of The Shining. It's great. Well, I, I, I wish you looked like Scatman Crudders at the end of that film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sounded like you had a... a well, did you crate? make it to the show, yeah. Bobo? Oh, good question. Yeah, I made. Oh, I Roll made it credits. To the show. I made it. To the show. <laughs> That's your movie. <laughs> See, if he had just paused before he said that, he would be an alternative comic. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you got to take this to Sundance. See I what picture the, what the boys think. I picture this like a, a movie that takes place in one night. This is kind of an American graffiti thing. Mm. His story. More morons and their fucking night out. But who would play Bobo? Ah, oh. because Bobo can't. Because then he won't get the Oscar for just being himself. No, you got to have someone that Sean plays Penn's Bobo. Too old. I'm Sean saying, too old. Wait, who, who has his level skills? I, I, I think would play Ed Bobo. Norton could probably Ed play Norton? Uh, Bobo. Yeah, yeah, but he's not moving tickets right now. We, we That's want, true. We, we got to get wanna, our money back. Here. And you want yeah. a guy that kind of looks like Bobo to begin with, don't well, you? Well, they do great work with makeup. These DiCaprio, days. maybe they could uh, say DiCaprio. Gil Gilbert, great, but not as smart and savvy. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is the seventeenth most difficult trek to see Bob Levy anyone's ever yeah, heard. Really? <laughs> was there parking by the time you got there? Were there any seats? Uh, it, it was. It was way too far. I was in Peapack. The show was in Springfield. Oh, oh wow! I don't you know, know. Never, That's never crazy. the Twain show. Now, really now, now he's going uh, Johnny Jersey. Cash on us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been everywhere, <laughs> man. <laughs> and when I finally did get oh, a cab, uh, when I finally now. did get a cab, yeah. yeah. That, that that king, guess what happened? That uh, guy, wait, I wait, you like told that. us to guess. We're trying to guess. Uh, he took you to his destination and the cab smelled fine. No, no. You his found, um, um, his found the name was this story in the glove compartment. You, no. you started talking and then didn't realize by the end that he had shot himself. <laughs> no, when I, by the time I got there, oh, that cab driver, God. I felt like he extorted me for for. Every cent I had in my pocket. Extortion? I to to really? I didn't know you got I a February. Go, I had to go to the ATM <laughs> to get to the to, to get more money. Wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. How much was it? Oh, there you 160 go. he extorted me for. Extorted you for 160? How far that's was it, Bobo? Spring, 
all the way from Peapack, all the way to Springfield. Do you know miles? Do you know things like uh, that? Or is it just toothpicks that fall on the floor mm-hmm. you can count? I, I was cl- practically close to Pennsylvania. So, Bobo, uh, what was the problem? I'm not hearing any, like... He spent 160 bucks. 160 bucks to go have, see uh, Bob Levy. Stop, apparently. Yeah. A- and... The guy gave me bad directions. The venue gave me bad directions. Right. right. Hey, listen, one time, shame on them. <laughs> the second time, shame on you. I don't think you're listening, sir. Fool me twice, won't get fooled again. Yeah, first time, shame on I really them. Got, I really got stuck in that. Second time, shame on you. 500th time, shame on this radio show. <laughs> shame on your mom's womb. <laughs> oh, man. But the venue oh, gave me bad directions. Oh, on a Tuesday. There. I don't on know why. On a Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, my God. I've got three more days of this. Uh, <laughs> That's why, at least it's not a sunny day today, so we won't feel too guilty after leaving here. What was the venue, <laughs> Bobo? Bill put that in our fucking Oh, heads. good question. What was the venue? Was the, oh. Was the, was the Comedy Cove at Scotty Steakhouse. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, when I play Eastern Pennsylvania, I play VFW Halls, Nice and Columbus. Excellent direction. Right. <laughs> right. They will make sure you know where to go by the click. The that means right. a mile in military Cove. terms. Yes. Was it by the sea? <laughs> the Comedy Cove, the Royal at, Order of the Water Buffalo. I already forgot the name of the place. The steakhouse, some kind of steakhouse. The comedic sound. Did you? So you on ne- pier number you never, nine. <laughs> you never made it there. Oh, I made it. Bob Levy had just started by the time I got there. Oh, oh, so oh what's boy. the problem? Yeah, what is the problem? Oh, it cost him oh, 160 bucks. Oh wait, that's the end bucks. of the movie, and that part is in <clears> color. <throat> right. The whole movie you shoot in uh, black and white, and oh. then you get to that. Yeah. I mean, you keep yes. you, you start with Wait. him at the show. It's in color, yeah. and then you go back you to go black back. and white. So then it's artsy. Travis, his like track. It. Travis is telling me it's only twenty five minutes. So this cab yeah, guy really fucked him. him. Wow, Bubba, the the guy saw you coming. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, he, he yeah took with your tuxedo. Of me being, of being, I, can, I feel this guy took advantage, tried to take right, Hold on, Bob Levy's not going to hold, hold on. So this much is, levels of corruption. This is the House of Cards of stories. <laughs> this is the House of Cards. I can't wait to go home and download this. <laughs> Complete and binge oh, you gotta, listen. you got to get caught up. you got to get caught up, Dave. you got to binge watch yeah. it. You're like three oh, seasons into Bobo's yes, ep- life. Episode one starts about 25 to 30 years ago in a, in a delivery room with a woman crying. <laughs> Well, the story gets better, people. We go to the next level here. We got Bob Levy now. All right. Oh, good. Uh, Mr. Levy, what's up? He went to the wrong uh, train thing, right? Yeah. You know how far he was away from the club? He was 15 miles away. The guy charged him $160. Oh, Oh, man. Fuck. He he was, like, just babbling when he got in a thing because he was all nervous. And the guy was like, fuck it. I could probably make a fortune off it. Oh, Oh, Jesus. He took advantage. Energy, you Bobo. Bobo needs a poker face. Yeah. Yeah, he flipped out. So I, I, Bobo needs a life coach. <laughs> a life yeah. coach yeah. We should find out the name of that cab company who takes advantage of a guy who's obviously... Yeah, uh, as much as we hate Bobo, this isn't disabled. right. Disabled. Yeah, yeah, what, what was I the name did, of that? I, I called up. I got I got the guy. They're going to get it down to whatever the charge would be, and they're going to send them the money. Because I said... The, you take an advantage of a guy that's, you know, whatever. That's very nice. I love how no one wants to merch. Oh, well, with merch? Yeah. <laughs> $160. That's two t shirts. Yeah, with, with but fucking taxi cab a cozy. logos. <laughs> but you guys are missing something. How, yeah. did, how, did, Bob, head, uh, <laughs> how did Bob Levy get involved with this? Why, how did you get involved <laughs> with Bob's fans? Problems. He's a man of the people. Yeah, he loves his fans. Because Bob paid 200 for the same ride. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bob. I walked into the show and I had like 10 minutes left. And I already did like an hour. And he walks in and I go, What happened to you? And he just starts screaming. In front of everybody. Oh my God! Fucked by a cab driver, and everybody thought he was raped by him or something. (laughs) Everybody lifted up their steak knives because it's also a steakhouse. (laughs) He was like fucking, and he just went on with the story how he had to. He he didn't say a hundred was enough, so he had to stop at ATM. Wow. Where was that anger while it was going on, Bobo? You need to, you need to get angry as it's happening. And Everybody Bo- ripped their lobster bibs off <laughs> and ran to the door. <laughs> we gotta fight this guy. <laughs> that surf and turf crowd, very angry, angry people. <laughs> Bring your lobster tails. Yeah. We might need them. We're trying to have some laughs, and a dunderhead has been taken advantage of. Dunderhead. <laughs> but but Bob, Bob, Bobo thinks you just starred your set, but you're at the end of it. 
No, no. I was at the, I did ten minutes. He seen me there for. He came That's in. It. And I was like, "What the fuck happened to you?" Oh, it's great. And he was like just like babbling, and everybody oh. was like, "What the fuck is going on with this no. guy?" No, no. <laughs> so I, I fucking called up and I said, "You can't take advantage of somebody like you know what I mean." Right. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> And I and they go, that's real. That's that's not fair. You know what I mean? Because we have some people in our family that are, you know, like him. You know? Oh my god! <laughs> oh come on, mm. dude! You should so, do yeah. like public service announcements, like to raise money. You know, every each year over thirty thousand people are born. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, with yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, with you know. whatever. But you know, <clears throat> you know, you know uh, right. kind of. Well, <laughs> Bobo, what kind of driver was it? All right, did. Dare I say it, he was black? <laughs> dare Wait a I say? Oh, oh, Jesus, he goes, dare Bobo. I say? Dare I say? How did he dare sound? You. Bobo does accents now. How does he sound? How did he sound? Uh, I don't. Know. I can't imitate the voice. He he kind of sounds. Give me like money, he, motherfucker! <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, pretty, pretty pretty much DJ Who Kid could speak, and that would pretty much describe what he sounded like. Like DJ Who Kid. Oh, like DJ Who Kid. Oh, right. okay. No. So well, you didn't you didn't ask him like, hey, that's a lot of money. I didn't because the whole point I felt threatened. Stand your ground. Uh, Stand your ground. Right. Threatened how? How'd you feel Stand threatened? Stand your ground. He felt threatened. Ah, oh, this Why did you ugly <laughs> turn with it one did. question. Why did you feel threatened? What I felt I could have been dropped off in the woods in the middle of fucking nowhere. Did he ask you how much money you had on you? Did yeah, he call you new is. fish? Objection, Your Honor, leading the witness. Oh, no. Yeah, but I'm saying, why would the guy and, charge 160 yeah. when you don't look like you'd have that kind of money did he, on him? Did he say how much money do you have? Did he touch your schmeckle? <laughs> no, no all, all I said is... Uh, <laughs> all, all, I said, all I said was, I, I said I have $100, and, I have $100 and he said it's going to be at least 100 160. Wow. He saw you. He saw your wow. eyes, man. He saw your and eyes. I had to. I had to get off at an AT, at an ATM. What a scumbag! What to get more money? Then yeah, he had to go to get another trick to the venue. As annoying as Bobo is, I want to fucking strangle this. Right? This what kind of town is this? Yeah. What the fuck? You know, and you know what? He's the in Deadwood. Thing is? They told him. <laughs> the guy told him it was near Pennsylvania. It's nowhere near fucking Pennsylvania. Oh man. He was 15 miles away, but I talked to the owner, and they're going to reimburse the money. And but I got they should Bobo fire that scumbag cab driver. Hey, let the buyer beware. That's what and, I say. And yeah. Bobo, how... Caveat how, mTOR. This might be a tough question, but how long were you in the cab, Bobo? How long did it feel? I think it was maybe a half hour. Wow. Mm. Were you sitting up front? Well, that's because he dropped you off <laughs> the gate. Exactly. I, I, I had to sit next... I had to sit in the front seat... Well, that's extra. There you go, son. Why? That's extra. Who's in the back seat? His his wife and kid. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> holy <laughs> shit! Wait, right. some guy with his wife and kids <laughs> drove you? <laughs> that, that, that holy wasn't a cab, dude. shit! That was this really? That wasn't a cab. Really wasn't a cab. You were yet. robbed. <laughs> yeah, you were robbed. <laughs> did, it, did it look like a cab? It was an abduction and robbery. <laughs> It, it was a cab, but supposedly... Bill, you're right. This is a I movie. I found out from the company, yeah. their drivers are freelance. Oh, yeah. freelance. Oh. They're freely. Yeah, then he goes... Well, you had to pay for that... Bobo goes missing, and then Judd Hirsch looks for him. Right. <laughs> yeah, you pay for this, and then finds him and wish he didn't. <laughs> God, you this guy doesn't shut up. <laughs> you pay for the experience of being part of his family. <laughs> right. That was the extra money yeah, Exactly. You, it was like you fucking... You were Steve Martin in The Jerk. Yeah, like Cracker Barrel, like the family experience. <laughs> yeah. This guy shows up with his wife and kid in the backseat. How old was the kid? <laughs> 17. Smart enough to laugh at Bobo. I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna assume he was five years old. All right, all right. You cool. can assume that. Okay. Yeah. Don't insult him. Right. Was it a so. station wagon? Oh, oh, oh. So this is just a rough guess. All right. So he's got his oh, wife and kid. They stop. How much money you have on you? Wait. Go, go, Wait was Jimmy. there any sort of signage on the side of the car? Did you just get in a car? Yeah, it said family style cab yeah, driving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, was, there was signage on the car. There was. Yeah, there was some stickers that were... No child left behind transport. <laughs> <laughs> and the cab driver got out and started selling bootleg t-shirts to Bob Levy's show. <laughs> Did the mother or the kid talk at all to you? 
No, I don't think they really spoke that much. No, huh? Really? They knew. So did you talk the whole time? I'm sure. No. And they stopped and made you get an extra 60 out of the fucking bank? Oh, No, every God. word that came out of his mouth, the driver just kept seeing more and more dollar signs. Oh, yeah. 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 Could you imagine the conversation <laughs> between him and his old lady when Boba got out to go to the ATM? Oh, man, I'm going to soak this motherfucker. <laughs> you really shouldn't oh. be doing this. Listen. Yeah, you're in shit. <laughs> Times are hard. <laughs> Times are hard. Oh, my God. This is like 12 years of slave he yeah, meets yeah. the Rain Man. Right. Meets something else. A heavy <laughs> metal video. <laughs> exactly. That's pretty sad. <laughs> Axel Rose getting off the bus and welcomes to the jungle. Yeah, I mean, you can go so many different ways. Well, damn, Call up Joe DeRosa. 12 years Please. of cab ride. Yeah. All right. Anything oh. else, Bob Levy? That, that said, after I went after the show, I went downstairs and I seen uh, a black guy with his family having a steak dinner. So, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <man>. celebrating. <laughs> celebrating. And they went boom, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that's when they pulled the con of the year. Booyah! <laughs> I, I, I also have to say that that caused me to play this one mission to GTA V that makes me laugh every time I play it. Uh -oh. Every time I feel that mission. Remember that mission where you gotta repossess the guy's car in the mansion? No. And if you feel the mission, if you, if you walk into the, guy, the guy's wife while she's in some tennis well, Who gives a shit? Wait, 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 wait. How do you have no ability to understand what is not pertinent to a no, story? It is. it is. It is. This is the end. This, this no. makes him feel better. This is this is like oh. fall. Now it's falling down. So you go into the. <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> so you play this part of the video game. And what happens? Do you fuck well, his maybe. wife? What do you do? Yeah. yeah why wow. does it remind you of this one mission? Get to the point, Bobo. No, no, no. This Makes is great. Feel better. Do you murder a black right cab family? Is that if you, you're, you're playing as the black guy in the game, if you walk up to the family and get, if you walk up to the to the wife and get caught, you hear the tennis instructor go. <laughs> you hear actually you hear the wife saying. <laughs> May, may I help you? And the guy, and the tennis instructor starts screaming. Woo, woo, eh, eh. Calm down. Oh my God! So, did, who did you relate to in doing? the story? So tell you the felt story. Like you would... Don't let the story tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Now he feels like he has power because now he's the black guy. Oh uh, yeah, yep. And he's scaring. See? He's scaring the white person. He's scaring the white people yeah. in the now game. Now it's Mississippi I think, burning. I think, right. the, uh, I think just crying cab... while he's playing, yelling one hundred and sixty dollars. <laughs> uh, I think the cab driver is shitty at the con. He could have got at least three hundred from. <laughs> <laughs> Probably got her, yeah. Dude, this guy is like, uh, this is this is one of those. You know when they sit there and they talk about these violent video games? Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. Right. This guy right here should not be playing those games. He's getting inspired by them. And yeah. This yeah, guy sweet. here should not have an ATM fucking card. Well, no kidding. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> no kid. Oh, Bob. That is true. This guy here is, you know, so uh, so he's, uh, you know like but, that. Wait, here's the question: How did you get home? You're not, you're not going to go back in a cab. I got, I got, I got, I got a fan to take him home. Oh, Levy's a nice oh, guy. Look at Levy for the defense. You were like the, the equalizer. Closer, yeah, <laughs> and that guy raped Bobo. Train station, <laughs> the correct train station. That All I right. Oh, well, there you go. He's like the wolf. Gentlemen, we got to get Bobo home in 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's not start sucking each other's dicks quite yet, gentlemen. Exactly, because what happened was Travolta was pointing a gun at him and went off, but nothing got all over the seat. <laughs> <laughs> the seat was in pristine condition. <laughs> oh, man, I shot Bobo in the face. face. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. I've never seen an empty head before. <laughs> and he's still talking. Of course. <laughs> yeah, he talks with all the time. Bobo. That must have been a horrible train right back yeah yeah all right great story man a night of laughs and steaks belly full steak and laughs, laughs and steaks <laughs> hey bubba do you have a steak a... night of cube steak <laughs> <laughs> stew <laughs> laughter <laughs> bubba did you have a steak bubba he had no money left <laughs> I, 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 he had a I sugar was, packet <laughs> I, I was i was so stressed out i think i I may have forgot what I ate. I was under so much stress. Mm. Oh. Well, it was a steak place. You so. on the people's court, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a good idea. Oh, they, he, uh, that would be I, a great episode. I, I, I do have to thank the guy who gave me that lift to Short Hill train station. I was... Who was I that? Yeah, thank him on your own time. Don't thank him on the fucking radio. Islander Nation on Twitter. Uh, here's uh, fucking uh, uh, Twitter is. Did you give that fan an IOU for $160? <laughs> so would you say now, Bobo, you believe in angels? <laughs> Jesus.
Jesus, it's the best. There's a higher power out there. God damn. Yeah, we let him off the hook. This, I know. He's so, huh? so taken advantage Yeah, that's a good question, Bob Levy. We can end Bobo. with this. What did you learn, Bobo, from this experience? Mm. Yeah. I learned, for one thing, call the venue twice because one person... They don't want you calling them twice. Call the venue no, twice. No one wants to be called twice. For oh, no, he learned this. Maybe right, twice, all right, cut once. Maybe that, all right, it's that, not that, what I learned. You're right. Bubba that, learned that, that, that you, you called the venue twice as he keeps right. babbling. What else did you uh, learn? I also learned that maybe one person might have the better information than the other person. That right. Oh, what? <sighs> Good lesson. What else did Good you learn lesson. from this whole thing? I also learned really look up the cab company yes. in the area. There you, you go. Know. Never sit in the front seat of a cab again unless your friends are in the back. Absolutely. <laughs> right. uh, during the fucking BET version of the movie <laughs> Vacation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cab driver's baby piano wires you around the neck? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, the Hello, Carlo. <laughs> Hello, Dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Kicks through the windshield. <laughs> get, get, get the cannolis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and what else? Yeah, what else? Good question, David. Tell. Thank you. What else, there, boy, Bobo? Dave. Come bring on, it, bring a snack just in case, <laughs> <laughs> and a compass. <laughs> <laughs> bring a reasonable, Bobo? healthy snack. Comments. Right. Blood sugar. Balance <laughs> out. Yes. Yeah. Go. Bubba. Bobo. What else? I, I, Keep a knife I, in your boot. I, 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 also, I also learned next time carry extra hand warmers. What? What? Wait, what about the hand warmers? Oh, it was chilly. Why? Did you make you change the tire? What happened? that <laughs> was. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. You gave him 160 and a tug job? Now, Bobo. Yes. That's too much. <laughs> and who walks around with hand warmers to begin with? And he needs yeah. extra ones? So many layers to this story. Oh yeah. my God, he's freezing. Oh, yeah. So what? many sad layers. It's, <laughs> yeah. 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 it's very God. sad. Thanks. Pull up. It's like pull pull up. it's like Harold without Maud. <laughs> it really is sad, peculiar. Why do you need Why do you need extra hand warmers, Bobo? For the family. <laughs> no, for myself. If you get stuck that long. Yeah, but you're in a nice I, cab I, the whole time. No, Opie. He was stuck. People were texting me saying. He's stuck in the cold. He's freezing. He's uh, shivering. What, during your set, you have to deal with this shit? How did they know? Because they walked past him? <laughs> yeah, it's over there, Bobo. Bob, are you a Twitter comic? He called the, co he called the club, oh. and he goes, there's some guy on the phone. He's in, like, a town, you know, 15 minutes away when there's a train station right down the block. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Why couldn't you get on the next train? Oh, good question. Do you have an idea how long it takes to wait for a New Jersey train? Well, don't raise your voice. <laughs> no, yeah. right? We're trying but to Apparently, help. you don't either. <laughs> <laughs> so, money bags. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not my fault. Yeah, I, I know you're upset, judge but do Jimmy. not make fun of Metro North, all right? <laughs> a reasonably priced, great way to get around. <laughs> clean, uh, clean energy, I just, all right? <laughs> Let's take a breath here. <laughs> clean energy. I just love that Bob Levy was heavily involved. That just makes me yeah. completely very That's happy. Excellent. He's a good man. Negotiating a heavily involved. Negotiating hostage exchanges. <laughs> right. Right. Fucking Getting text messages yeah. from yeah. other I fans that Bobo's stuck. Got huh? home, yelled you know, at the company. <laughs> right. I had to take care of him because the guy took advantage of him for one reason, because he could have. I know. And yeah. Bobo told him how much fucking money. You don't say. I've never gotten a cab, and the guy I said to me, how much money you got on you? And I just yeah. handed it to him because he told me. Right. You what? shouldn't tell him the money. That's something you should learn, too, today. Well, that's, that's like a local cab thing. You know, yeah. You know, meters. It's like the guy just knows from living there. You, uh -huh. know? you do like, that You do that shit before you get in the, the car, though. You, my first hooker ever got me like that. Yeah. yeah. What, what happened? Some roads. <laughs> <laughs> 45 years old. Said, Turn on, close your eyes. She'll be <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We go to Big J Okerson. How, how did that play out? Oh, I was doing some... I was working for some engineering company, and they set me on some uh, thing. I had to go like they put me up in a hotel to go like on the road to stocking lab count coats. Ca no, like to, <laughs> to count cars. <laughs> it was, um, but I saw there was like a girls, girls, girls like massage like truck stop place, and I went when I had like free time myself. I went to the place and 
I walked in there and I had like two hundred dollars to my name. It's all I had. And, you know, they'd reimburse me for all my food and everything. And I sat down with this this old, this elderly lady. Oh no! Who, who gave me a massage and lightly grazed her fingers around my dick, and then oh. she started making the hand motion like, "Do you want to fuck?" And I nodded yes. And she goes, uh, she go like this? She, yeah, yeah. Finger she in started, the hole? She had started fucking her own fashion. fist. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me of this radio. <laughs> and I go, uh, I go, <laughs> I, go uh, I nodded, yeah. And then she goes, uh, she put up three, she goes, $300. And I go, I don't have $300. And she goes, what do you have? And I went, Two hundred dollars. Oh, no. And I gave her the whole yeah, and you know, and then ten minutes later when you're just fucking up that, you know, like, why did I do that? I gotta be oh. honest though, Jay, I almost understand her because she gave you a price and you said no. So she want if she didn't just say how much do you have, that wasn't a total fucking. She actually would have wanted more. Yeah, you kinda of fucked no. yourself. No, no, but no, I mean no, that no, was no, a fair I was question. Stupid. By I was her. stupid to give mine yeah, but I was dumb to say, Hey, here's all the money. Yeah, you I have said seventy five. I got seventy five bucks. That's basically the same story that happened above. Bobo, the guy made that fucking you want to fuck sign to him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right. That I mean, sounds I felt so. bad. So I called the cab company and I said, I go, uh, they go, what did the guy look like? I said, he said he was black. He goes, we're all black. And I was like, he goes, African American. That's racist. Black. Right. Yeah, I didn't know that. But, you know, I can't oh, say man. That. That's some racial like profiling a, right there. Man. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, they robbed the fucking guy that, you know what I mean, that, you know, is a little... They robbed know. a stupid little cracker. Hey, but, That's what yeah. they did. What Let's run them through the mud on War Star Hip Hop. Here we and go. He was babbling like what? an idiot to the guy. What? And nah, I'm, I'm relaxed. Uh, why don't we, why don't I'm not we, saying a word. Come on. Why don't we uh, stop beating around the bush? Bobo. Bush. Bobo. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you think is wrong with you? Jesus. Oh, I don't know. I guess maybe I... Maybe I... Some type of bold for things earlier, too easily. What? No. What do you oh, think is in general, or just he's saying he's naive. He's a little yeah, naive. What, what, he, what do you I think th is wrong with you overall he as a human sees being? The good in people. Uh, what's wrong with uh, us? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. It's <laughs> such a wonderful day. The Patrice O'Neill benefit. Everybody for raising money. For the good thing. I can't All right, do this. Fair enough. <laughs> Bobo. Bobo, thank you. <laughs> I, I do suffer from an anxiety disorder. Oh, it's a little anxiety. All right, he has a little anxiety. That's yeah. okay. Who doesn't? Though? All right. And Bob Levy, thank you, sir. Bobby! Bob Levy is a, a gentleman. You're, you're certainly a, a gentleman there, Bob. All right. We'll Taking talk care to you. Of, uh, Bob really stepped up. And yeah, take care of Bobo. And they will be in the audience tonight. All right, very good. Oh, Bobo will be in the audience. That. Bobo will be there tonight. All right. I my we'll send a cab. We'll send a cab. Does he bring his two poodles with him? <laughs>